Hey everybody, Silver Go King here. Uh, we're stabilizing some wood. If I turn it up too fast, it starts bubbling. We have a lot of wood in there. I need to stabilize some handles for a knife I'm making. So if we go too fast, it's going to overflow. See, it's pegged. But just creep it. Just start off real slow. So they make a big mess. A lot of bubbles. That means that wood has, um, you know, it's very coarse wood. But when I take it out, it'll be nice and hard. See, this hasn't been stabilized yet. Curly bubble, bubble guy. I don't know, whatever it says. Really something. I got some nice pieces in here though. I'll tell you what I have in here. We got hard maple, African mahogany, purple heart, mahogany walnut, Yellow heart and bloodwood, and a few other ones that I don't know the name of them, but they have like um, real nice dark black veins. This is the knife we're making the handle for. Ten eighty seven. I might put a hormone on that. I'm not sure. Another one I was going to make. That's 1095 right there. I had some 01. I can't find it. I thought I bought a bunch of steel, but I don't know what happened to it. Anyway, let's turn this up a little more. You want to get it to its max pressure without overflowing the bubbles. Anyway, this will cook for uh, sheesh, 24 hours maybe. Until those bubbles are gone. There can't be no more bubbles in here at all. Not even a couple percolators at all. And then it's done stabilizing. And what's good about that, you know, it's like waterproof. It's like a resin that soaks into the wood. You got to use this cactus juice right here. Pretty expensive. Stabilizing resin. Then don't try to buy the cheap shit at first either because it don't work. It ruins your wood. So just go with the cactus juice, add the additive in it, and uh, that's it. You got to use it. It's no more sure, uh, life shelf after after you add the additive to it. It's done. If you this is what happens to it. We try to leave it on the shelf. Look at that. Got some nice colors in there though, huh? That's from when we were trying to uh, dye wood. It didn't turn out too good. Alright everybody, I think this is it. I think we're in the safe zone. Yes we are. So after this comes out, we'll turn the machine off, let it sit in there for a couple more hours and soak and then we'll take it and wrap it in aluminum foil and stick it in the oven at 200 degrees to three to four hours and then when it comes out it's like a real hard i mean it could be the softest wood in the world pine whatever and it'll be hard as a rock not as hard as a rock but you know hard and uh stable so you don't have to worry about like if you use it for a knife handle it's not going to crack break it's not going to get full of water and rust the knife all kinds of things, you know. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I would say give it a thumbs up. But this is uh, Instagram. Give it a like. How's that? There you go. Peace out.